do not know. What would you say to When I'm on a road trip, all tucked in the quiet that settles in somewhere around mile 200, I can believe that magic exists. Road tripping with someone you really love, like I literally always am, you both become sort of like ghosts, just driving on forever and ever. So it crossed my mind. The destination becomes an afterthought almost, like, are you actually thinking about the folks you'll hug and kiss and play board games with once you arrive? I don't think I am, no matter how much I love them. I think instead I spend more time just existing, hopping from one car snack to the next. It used to be boiled peanuts or hot fries and a scratch off. These days it's a vegetable or hummus or another round of roadside coffee. Maybe sometimes too, the food is mostly a mental kind of food, like listening to a podcast with one hand on your person's knee while headlights slice through the ink of night. So my mind. I don't really drive at night. Rody does that. My vision's funny. I tend to see things in the dark that gum up my perception. Usually it's people standing on the shoulder or flocks of birds taking off from the median. It's like my brain's got to make sense of or justify so much nothingness. Rody says I tend to do that. Justify nothingness. Like, things can't be all bad or all nothing. There's got to be a reason. He's right. I do that a lot. But maybe in the dark I'm actually seeing something. Ghosts. Not just my ghost, my road trip self, but ghosts. A moose of yore, or some bygone hitchhiker, or a flock of passenger pigeons who broke through time to beat their wings across some Colorado side road a hundred years after going extinct. Honestly, I think the only magic left exists in highways and sleepy diners and gas stations that light up the void and the rest stops where you drink cheap wine and hope to sleep all through to dawn. Otherwise, there's not much magic left out there. Everyone is so connected, it's a marvel to even spend a minute alone. Mostly, we're looking at other people's thoughts on the internet. That's not being alone. Maybe road trips have magic because we're alone. Yawns of time with no service, trusting the GPS to not crap out on you, trusting yourself that if it does crap out on you, you are still capable of driving in a straight line for 74 miles without a smartphone reminding you how. <laughs> a long drive? A cross-country drive? Makes me think about a friend I made 11 years ago on Victory Day in Moscow. Her name was Dasha. Fireworks were going off and everyone was drunk and celebrating. And me? I just had to pee. Okay, I was drunk too, but mostly I had to pee. Dasha took me behind some trees to squat, folks passing not 10 feet away, and told me not to worry. She said, they see you today, but not tomorrow. Road trips feel a lot like that. They see you today, but not tomorrow. Even surrounded by cars or your bow or ghosts, you're alone. It's just you out there, baby. The ghosts or the birds or the couple glaring at you sidelong at the rest area because you're singing to yourself. (laughs) They're flittering across your stage and you're flittering across theirs. At the end of the day, it's just you, suspended in amber. You, singing till you're raw or making messy car art or thinking about nothing at all. Maybe I'm just doing that thing I do, you know? Making a reason or magic when there's nothing. But I'd like to think I'm right. That ghosts and magic really do linger on the highways. Who am I to say either way? 
especially at night. It's nice to imagine all those ghosts, all that magic, makes that emptiness look a whole lot kinder. Don't you think?